Okay, hi, welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to do an update on the hair that I currently have in my hair, in my head. <clears throat> so again, this is like the Wiggins hair. And I have it in, in 18 inches. I don't know why I can't talk. I have it in 18 inches. And uh, it's, I think it's like 150 density, something like that. It's the middle density, probably 150 or 170, I don't remember. And I wanted to do an update on this hair because I feel like a lot of people will review hair and they won't do like a long-term update. And I'm going to have this hair in for a while until I get another, another unit because I, you know, I don't have money like that. So I want to do an update letting you know how the hair is, how it's holding up, um, what I have noticed about it. I feel like a month update is a really good update because I use this hair every day. I use this hair every day. I sleep in it. I wash it. Sometimes I will co-wash it on my head. I will not take the unit off. Um, sometimes I will deep condition it off my head. Like I sleep in it. I live in it. It's sewn on. It's not clipped on. I don't like clipped on you parts. So how is the hair holding up it's holding up really well i would say this is probably and i feel like i say this about i can only say this about two uh, on one other kinky straight hair that i've had this is the best kinky straight hair that i've had i really hope they keep their prices the same because this hair is really good i feel like it's very rare that you find hair that it's just like it was when you got it out of the package a lot of hair that I get, it will have that soft textured feeling once you take it out the package and then you wear it for like a couple of weeks and it turns different. Like it's just more, it, the hair is still good, but it doesn't have that new feel. This hair has the new feel. Like it does not change. It is the same texture from when I got it in August and I wear the sorry i wear this hair every single day it is the same texture from when i got it in august it is really really good hair it will get dry if you wear the hair for a long time you don't wash it and you have it in the same you just have it out for weeks and you're not doing anything to it the hair will get dry all hair gets dry but what brings it back to life is when you wash it when you put some type of deep conditioner in it i use fruities you can use herbal essence you can use suave you can use any type of deep conditioner any type of like silky you know that deep conditioner that a lot of white people use or the ones for slip any of those will do because honestly it will bring the hair back to life every single time i wash this hair with deep conditioner or shampoo sometimes and deep conditioner and it just comes back to life it goes from its dry state back to its luscious pretty state and i don't put a lot of heat in this hair i will pass a flat iron over it sometimes my sister has like this flat iron comb that i sometimes take and just flat iron the hair i'm talking low because i don't want her to know but i do that when she's not home but yeah that's all i do um how i make sure the hair always stays nice i will and the reason why it has these crimps in it now I will wet it a little bit. This is a secret. It's a very basic secret. I will wet it a little bit, comb it out, then braid it. Do one big plait, put my head tie on. And when you wake up in the morning, you have crimps. Like you have you have a little bit of waves. It's very, very pretty hair. Like I get a lot of compliments. One lady told me, wow, you have a full head of hair. And I'm like, thank you. She don't need to know it's a U-bar wig. So yeah, I would have to say this is probably one of the best um, units that I've ever had. It is so nice. Um, I only wear kinky straight hair and I'll probably get like a kinky straight wig. And I could, I could list a number of kinky straight hair that is good. And this is probably the best one. And it's really cheap. So I really hope their prices stay the same. Because the last hair that I used to love ordering from, their prices changed on me. And I could not afford it. So I really hope this one stays the same. Anyways, so it does not shed. The hair, okay, let me see. The hair does shed. But the shedding is not like major, you know. 
it's not like you're gonna see a lot of hair on your brush out this hair a lot um here's a comb here are some little strands in it you can kind of see it you can kind of see it right here. I don't I don't brush out the hair a lot. I really don't. I probably brush it out twice a day because I'm all, I'm either at work or doing something and I don't have time to. I'll brush it out in the morning and I'll brush it out at night before I go to bed. Another time where I brush it out, maybe a third time is if I'm going out after work or something and I have the brush with me, I'll brush it out. But usually I don't need to brush this hair out a lot. It's pretty nice. It does it tangle in the nape a little bit. You can easily separate it. But for this hair to be in its best state, I've noticed that you honestly just have to wash it and leave the deep conditioner in it for a little bit. And it will go back to looking very nice and very pretty and very full. So yeah. I would say this hair is holding up really good. I am in love with it. Um, the color was getting a little bit... It's so interesting because the color was getting really um, light for some reason. A lot of people complain that the hair is not as dark, is not as black. The color was getting a little light, so I washed it. Um, at first, I let it soak in shampoo water. And then I deep conditioner and now because I think there's already dye in the hair I don't know I think they must have like dyed it ahead of time it looks better <laughs> like it's not fading anymore I don't know how that works I don't know the science of it because before I had washed it it was fading but when I took it off my head and let it soak I guess it's not fading that much but yeah if you don't like the color you can just get a dye and fix it i saw a girl do a very interesting method she put the dye inside of water and put the hair in it and so that's that's better than actually taking the dye and putting it on each strand so that's a better method that i think i'll do that when it gets a little bit more cold is make this hair a little bit more dark but other than that like this is going to be a short video the hair is really nice it's really good um the reason why it's so shiny is because i had washed it a couple days ago um i had used shampoo and deep conditioner that's why it looks the way it does but yeah you don't really have to do much to this hair like in its natural state it's a little bit more crimply but i kind of like it to be either like crimply or straight it doesn't really matter with me um if you have a blowout dryer then you can achieve this kind of look but you know anyways this is honestly by far i would say like the best kinky straight hair i recommend it 10 out of 10 you know i really hope they don't they don't change their prices because i really like it like it's just so nice i have no complaints honestly the ends of the hair like some people will say they will cut it if it bothers me i might cut it but i really don't care um there isn't really much shedding and the only thing i would say is the cap size i had to adjust the cap size a lot and in my first video i talked about that but other than that it's fine um i don't have any problems with it like i said you just have to make sure that you take care of the hair like at night before you go to bed you brush out the hair and you put it in a ponytail or you braid it that's what i do and yeah you just take care of the hair it's really good and i honestly recommend 10 out of 10 i'll probably do like a november update of this hair because i'm not switching out my hair again right now i'm not so i'll most likely do a november update or a december update to let you know how this hair is holding up but so far it's literally like you just got it out of the package barely barely any shed so we're here for it and at the top of my head it does help it definitely does help to get um clippings that's what i use at the top of my hair i don't use my leave out well i do have leave out but i use clip-ins as well so that's why it looks really full at the top and yeah 
so this here is awesome please go get it so you can look really good too I recommend 10 out of 10 and if you can see like the bottom is where I get kind of lazy it's not really it's not really straight because I don't really feel like straightening it all the way so you can kind of see it's natural texture kind of the top is gonna be straight you can see it's natural texture there but yeah like I said, this is good hair. Um, I don't know what else to say. So I'm just going to end the video. It's really good hair. It literally is like I got it out the package. I can say that about... I don't think I've ever said that about any type of kinky straight hair. Like I've had kinky straight hair that have still good over time. But it's never like you just got it. It's never like you just got it out of the package. And this hair is like... You literally just got it out of the package so please go get it this is the Wiggins kinky straight U part here I have the 18 inch um, it probably cost me like about $200 or a little less I don't remember actually it probably cost me 186 so yeah okay so thank you so much if you actually stayed and watched this whole video thank you and if you have any questions about the hair, please let me know. Oh, and it took, um, it didn't take that long to come, honestly. It took a couple days to ship. Like, I want to say like two or three days to ship. But then once it shipped, it literally took two days to, like, it was expedited. So that's really good. I just wanted to throw that in there because I don't think I added that in the last video. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and enjoy the rest of your day. And bye.